The government will spend $1.4 billion on skills future initiatives over the next five years as the scheme sharpens its focus to help mid-career workers and enhance training capabilities. Now, a million people and 28,000 companies could benefit, double the number compared to the last five years. Skills Future Singapore will partner industry leaders and set up more national centers of excellence to help SMEs improve workplace learning. It will also scale up reskilling programs for workers in their 40s and 50s to ensure they stay employable. Senior Minister of State for Education Chi Hong Tat said, Skills Future has made good progress. He said many were able to perform better after training and earned higher salaries. But as more targeted schemes emerge, the government will review existing initiatives and subsidy rates and reallocate spending. We will continue to subsidize up to 90% with more support for causes that lead to clear employment outcomes. Schemes that have become less relevant over time, such as the SkillsFuture Qualification Awards, will be gradually phased out.